Hello, I'm Yingmei Liu. I'm so glad to be here to demonstrate to you a very fun and easy way of cooking Chinese food, especially around this Chinese New Year time. Uh, it's a very simple way of preparing. The most essential part is you need a electric wok or equivalent to have the hot broth boiling and you need the adjustable control to control the heat later on. Uh, what I use to make this thing simple is just a ready-made chicken broth and here are two quarts of it. And to make the soup more flavorful, I usually put in some uh, ginger slices, garlics, and uh, whole green onion because it's easier to fish it out, but also to add the flavor for the soup. How we prepare the sauce is basically a soy sauce base with scallions, uh, a pinch of sugar to dilute the saltiness, and some sesame seed oil and uh, a little bit of vinegar just to perk the flavor. And then I also have a uh, bowl of hot sauce, so in case people like hot food, they can add to their sauce. So this is how we start. Everybody will pass uh, the sauce bowl and then put some into their own sauce bowl. And then uh, each person will have a larger bowl to receive the food later and a spoon to have soup with later. And then a chopstick to pick up the food dip into the sauce and then eat. Uh, part of the reason for the sauce is for flavor and also is to cool down the hot food so you wouldn't burn yourself. We also need a communal slug spoon for picking up the food and also a soup ladle to uh, scoop the soup on later. First of all, we will do the meat. This is uh, sliced, very thinly sliced beef. And because they are very easy to cook, uh, everybody will like to have their way of doneness. So at home, usually we just use our own chopstick, dip it in, and about three or four seconds, the meat should be turning to gray and then you pick it up and this this time you will just directly go to your uh, sauce bowl, dip it in and eat. I also prepared uh, a lot of seafood today with the vegetable. This is actually our favorite of the family. When my kids come home, I will the very first night, when it, the weather is cold, we usually have this prepared, and they love seafood. So uh, what I will do is put some shrimps in there. And they also cook very quick. They are going to turn uh, pink, then you know it's ready. And this is the squid, the chemical part, and my children love that. And uh, the tubing part, I cut into pieces. So basically, uh, the hot pot, the food preparation is just something in the ready to eat situation. So easy to eat. And usually we will put the vegetable and the cellophon noodle at the last because the flavor of meat and seafood will bring out the uh, intensify the flavor of the broth. So by the end, the vegetable and the cellophane noodle will pick up their intense city. So here I have the shrimps almost ready. You see the tail starting to turn pink. And usually uh, you will peel the shrimp up to this part so you leave a little bit tail for people to find the food. Sometimes they get lost in the broth. And you can also adjust the heat, make them 
turn faster because if there's a lot of people, they will be impatient. They say, where is my food is still not get ready? And then for the um, squid, you can see the tentacles already spread out and open. So these are ready. Okay. So I will scoop something for the guests. The scallop is a fresh uh, sea scallop. It's one piece. Okay. And then if people like to have some broth along, they will just Uh, so when the a lot of things already there, then you will start to put the vegetables in it. So I prepared uh, baby bok choy, especially the inner part. They are very beautiful to look at it. So you will see it's a color display, a texture play, so uh, and also very delicious later on. This is Chinese shiitake mushroom fresh. This is the uh, oyster mushroom. And uh, this is called the golden needle, or there's another name for that. And fried bean curd. Uh, I cut into pieces so easy to, to bite too. And then we can also add the salad for noodles. Okay, so we will wait for the soup to boil and then pick up all the food. The name of the hot pot actually uh, in Chinese is huo guo, that means fire pot. So how come it become hot pot because originally we use a utensil imagine a uh, grill your grill with charcoal there a grill platter but instead of platter is a donut shaped well uh, so the food can be cooked in the well section and in the middle of the donut hole actually is a tube that extends so serve as a chimney so because nowadays we don't use charcoal anymore to uh, cook, so we use electricity, so the name turn to become a hot pot. Um, it's a very versatile way of eating, and especially for the family uh, gathering. And uh, my fond memory was family getting together. The house is full of with aroma of the broth, and then the windows is all covered with the foggy steams. So that probably is a lot of memory of, uh, of my friends too. And uh, here is something that may be a new to you. This is a fish ball made with fish and um, they are crunchy and it's a delicacy. A lot of people like it. Uh, so you can see uh, when you need to do a hot pot at home, just have a utensil and go to look into your freezer and the refrigerator, uh, whatever is available, or just go to the market, pick up some fresh things. Now uh, the soup is already boiling with all my vegetable and cellophane noodles. Mushrooms, cellophane noodles, Okay, and then have some spoon soup. Mm. Sorry for the slurping, but it's very delicious.